So we can project that Michigan Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer will prevail over Republican Tudor Dixon in that Michigan race. Very closely watched. Uh, Dixon was able to close the gap there towards the end, but Whitmer has pulled out another term as governor of Michigan. We can also project that New York Governor Kathy Hochul will win her first full term in office, defeating Republican House Congressman Lee Zeldin. Now, this race, you couldn't, you know, project at the beginning that it was going to be as close as it was. There were Democrats in this state that were saying, this is a done deal, and Zeldin was going to win. But Kathy Hochul pulls it out. I will point out that she bought brought in every luminary in the Democratic Party, including former President Obama, mm -hmm. former President Clinton, uh, Secretary Clinton, uh, the whole you, panoply. You know, Brett, I just keep wondering what the Florida effect might have been on Lee Zeldin. Uh, a lot of people moved out of New York City. Mm -hmm. And he had to get at least 30 percent, I think 1.4 million votes in New York City. And that may have been where he fell short. I think we lost 50,000 residents in New York City in August alone. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if some of the explosion that we saw in Florida is partly people who are disgruntled and left New York. We'll talk about that in a second. But we are also calling the Nebraska governor's race for Republican Jim Pillen in that one. So, uh, Dana, what about that New York race? And I mean, we covered it very closely. The issue of crime obviously moved the needle, not enough to get Zeldin over the top, but might get some of these New York congressmen or New York House races. Yeah, so over the top. I, I have a good friend who works on Democratic House races who told me that they truly believe that they were going to lose all of the Long Island races and, and these Hudson Valley races as well. Be interesting to see what happens with Colin Schmidt and uh, Pat Ryan. Pat Ryan considered one of the best Democratic candidates that's been out there, but Colin Schmidt right on his heels. Um, and the other thing is Lee Zeldin brought, you know, he finally was able to get media attention for a really big issue in New York, especially New York City, and that is crime in the city. And part of the, what you see in Long Island and the Hudson Valley is that they come into New York to work. Mm -hmm. And their children come here to work, or their children are living here, and they're upset about it, and they're worried. A uh, little bit of a shame, I, I think, for Lee Zeldin that he uh, gave it that much of a shot. Now, there is a, a, goober, a Senate race in a couple of years, I believe, in New York. I, th I think I have that right. Um, he's shown that he can at least get a foothold. Uh, he had never won state, had never run in a statewide race before. Maybe he will try to give it another shot. There was one other race in New York that Bill was showing me because I like this candidate up there, um, LaRon Singletary. Uh, New York 25, this is at Rochester, one of the highest crime rates in New York State. Former police chief, one of the things that was pretty interesting over the weekend is he got a refugee group to go out and canvass for him. They had never voted for a Republican before, but they're worried about crime, and they want their kids to be better educated. And he's uh, leading and he's by 3,369. It's a really interesting race. Foreign police chief, exactly right. Yep. He got run out during 2020. Yep. Um, in custody of some police officers in Rochester, uh, one of the suspects was asphyxiated, and the police chief lost his job for it. He's coming back to gain his reputation back. Rochester's yeah. homicide rate hit an all-time record this past year. Josh Kraschauer, uh, those are two big governor's wins, though, for Democrats, Gretchen Whitmer and Kathy Hochul. A big governor's win in bo both those states. But I, I do want to point to New York being a rare bright spot for Republicans because Lee Zeldin may not win the governor's race, but he's keeping it close enough, and he's capitalizing, as Dana said, on a very pertinent issue of crime in the New York City and Rochester and Buffalo. There, there are a lot of House races, including that of the House Campaign Committee chairman, that Democrats hold that are in danger right now. So if Republicans get the House, and it's been a little bit disappointing for House Republicans right now, but the margin may end up being in New York State, yep. where a lot of Republicans are, are doing, doing quite well. Great point. Okay, from the White House, uh, we can say that the, the president made these congratulatory, uh, congratulatory calls. Uh, he tweeted out a shot of him uh, on the phone calling uh, a number of different races, a uh, number of different candidates, and uh, finished with, if you're in line to vote, remember, stay in line, uh, from President Biden. <laughs> so with that, um, Britt, do you have any thoughts at this uh, point in the night? Well, we haven't called North Carolina, right? We have not as of and yet. How, and we can, in our in our what if scenario, we counted that as red, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Red. Yeah. So Bud so. leaves by four points. But, yeah, it, that looks pretty good, I think, down there for yeah. for Bud in North Carolina. Yep. We do have another governor call uh, in Minnesota. 
uh, Tim Waltz will mm -hmm. win that. Another big win for Democrats. Um, this was more projected uh, from the beginning, but Tim Waltz will beat uh, the Republican Jensen in that race uh, from Minnesota. So the governor's races, uh, there are a number of them obviously out west that Republicans are looking for, including Arizona with Kerry Lake. Uh, and there is a lot coming in as far as raw vote total, but those are all too early to call. Yep, waiting for Oregon as well, which has been an interesting race to watch. So the night is far from over. We are counting down to our next poll closing as the balance of power in Washington takes shape before our eyes. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.